let's do flowers. Can we go on? Poppy petunia, poppy petunia, gladiola. Poppy petunia, poppy petunia, gladiola. Not too bad. And for your last warm up, can I have, uh, let's do Danny Boy. At Jefferson Middle School in Madison, Garrett Debink leads the after school choir. Here we go. Nice and loud. I started it when I got here uh, six years ago. It's called Loud and Clear. We always do like the pop stuff, the newer stuff. Acapella has a little bit more of a draw and it's what the kids are into. From modern pop. Can you feel that? We're playing with love tonight. To more old school. Garrett also directs the Madison Minor Corps. Being able to be a director for a choir that's been around for 165 years is really something special. Cool, that'll be good. A choir founded in 1852 to be exact by German immigrants four years after Wisconsin became a state. They would go to work and then they would go to the bar and this was their entertainment. They would have a couple drinks and sing songs. I think it's a really interesting history that we've kind of lost. The men's choir originally came to the new world with old world ways and forged a rich tradition around the state and in Madison. Most of it is four-part men's choral music, so it's tenor one, tenor two, baritone bass. When Grover Cleveland visited Wisconsin in 1887, it was the Madison Minor Corps that serenaded the U.S. president in German. Today, the songs are still sung in German. Please welcome Madison Minor Corps. My German is actually very rough. I've, I've been learning, but it's, it's not a prerequisite at all. So I'm looking at measure five, second verse. Wie oft hat nicht zur wie nacht Zeit. It was extremely intimidating. Some of these guys have been singing these songs longer than I've been alive and to, to then show up and be like, I know how these songs go. Eventually I, I did kind of step into the role as someone with a uh, music and choral and directing background. Uh, Everyone take a seat. <laughs> we sang this one on Friday and it sounded great. So same thing. If you weren't if, if you weren't there on Friday, don't muck it up for us. <laughs> German choir culture in Wisconsin has withstood the test of time. In den Wald mit und trinken wir. I think it's one of the more unique things about this choir. It was a, a tradition back in Germany. Um, as time has gone on, this tradition of four-part male choir singing has actually, to my knowledge, mostly just disappeared and has really stayed alive with the descendants of German immigrants here in the States. Here in Madison, it could also disappear. This is the oldest German men's choir in the state. Old in two ways. Most of the guys are old enough to be my grandpa's, uh, or at least my dad's age. I'm pretty sure I'm actually the youngest person in the choir. The choir's not getting younger. Garrett's goal is to grow the choir 
and strike a chord in finding that balance between the old and new through singing, socializing, sausage, and sheep's head. I think that's one of my favorite things. No matter who you are, there's a place on Thursdays from 8 to 9.30 that you can show up. It is creating that sense of community where people feel welcome, where people have fun. I get to do that for a living, and I think that's one of the best things. And you